What's going on guys, it's Pension here, and today I'm going to be bringing you guys the ultimate FPS increase guide for League of Legends. This video is going to be featuring the best optimizations for the game, depending on whether or not you're using high end or low end, no matter what sort of system you're running this on, you are guaranteed to see really, really good results. The purpose of this video is to ensure that you guys have the highest frame rates possible, to eliminate any lag or stuttering you might be having, to lower your frame times, and just make the game an overall more enjoyable experience, no matter what sort of system you're running on. Whether you're running on a system that already gives you 500 FPS, you could be upping that even more. Whether you're running on a low end system that gives you 10 FPS, we can get that to a playable frame rate for you guys and ensuring that you guys are having the best possible experience inside of League of Legends. That being said, please do share this video around if you do find it helpful. Also, please do press that like button down below as it helps me out a ton. Press the subscription button and that notification bell to be notified whenever I do upload more FPS guides, anything to do with PCs, gaming, content creation, all that sort of general stuff. Please do press that subscription button and the notification bell to be notified when I do upload stuff like that. Feel free to use that comment section down below for any questions or anything you might need answering during it because I pretty much read them all or someone helpful in the comment section might also help you out if you have any inquiries regarding what anything does or if you just need help during this tutorial. That being said, to keep this video short and simple and to the point, let's get right into the tutorial. Okay, so starting off, what you guys are going to need to go ahead and do is go down into the description below and download the LOL FPS Increase Pack by Panch. Once you've got it, you need either 7-Zip or WinRAR to extract it, so get either of those programs. Hit the Extract Here button and you'll be given a folder on your desktop that looks just like this. Inside of there, you'll find Game Files, Wuxi, CC Setup, and TimeResolution.exe. Okay, so now start Starting off, once we've got this downloaded, we're going to be going in and doing our game file. So to do this, what you need to do is go into the game files folder and you'll find game.cfg. Then what you need to do is you need to navigate down to your file explorer, press anywhere on your file explorer and open up a folder. Inside of there, you need to go to this PC, go into local disk, Riot Games, League of Legends, config, and inside of here you'll find game.cfg. Now simply what we're going to do is we're going to take the game CFG provided in the FPS pack provided, drag it on over, and replace the file in this destination. Once you guys are done with that, we're going to be backing up again into the right games folder, going into League of Legends, scrolling all the way down, and for these three client.exes here, the league client.exe, the league admin.exe, and the league launcher.exe, we're going to be applying some fixes to these exe files. So what you need to do, we're going to start off with the league client, right click, go down to properties, then go into compatibility. Now this doesn't matter which version of Windows you're running on, if you don't have any of these options or you only have a couple of these options, make sure that you only apply the ones you possibly can. If you can apply them both, that's fantastic, but if you don't have them, don't worry about this. What we want to do is override high DPI scaling behavior performed by application. This sometimes can look a little bit different depending on which operating system you're running on, but if it says something along these lines, make sure to disable it. Then also check the disable full screen optimizations button, press apply, and OK. We're going to be doing that for the launcher admin, doing the exact same thing, properties, compatibility, override and disable, apply OK, and the lol launcher.exe, compatibility, override, disable, apply and OK. Once you guys are done inside of there, we can then exit out of our file explorer inside of League of Legends. Now for you guys running on super low end systems, you don't mind how your game looks and you want the best FPS possible, this next part coming up for you guys is essentially for that. I'm going to put an on screen screenshot right now of how your game is going to look and if you want the best FPS possible and you're finding it really hard to launch League and play it at a playable frame rate, then I definitely recommend doing this. For you guys on more high end systems, if you don't mind your game looking like this, then we can continue on and we can do this step just here. If you want your game to still look really nice and beautiful, just skip out this next step and we can continue on. Okay, so for you guys who want the best FPS possible by lowering your map textures, all you need to do is go into the FPS pack provided, go into the Wuxi folder. Inside of there, we're going to be opening Wuxi.exe. Inside of here, we're then going to be selecting our League of Legends installation folder. This is what it's defaultly set to. If it's different, then select the selector folder option and go through it. We want to do save the options and start Wuxi. Now, sometimes when installing Wuxi, you can get this issue that says something strange has happened. You can just simply keep pressing OK to this and hold Enter. All you simply need to do is press the OK option and then hold down your Enter key so it rapidly tries to press OK to that option. And once it eventually goes through, this can take up to 10 to 20 seconds, it will continue with the installation. It's just a slight bug since one of the new League of Legends updates, it just bugs out a little bit. So you might have to do that if you run into that issue. Once you're done with that, it's going to ask you if you wish to update your version of Wuxi. You can wish to do so if you want to. Personally, I'm not going to bother updating it right now. And what we're going to be doing then is we're going to import our skins. So go into the option in the bottom right, import skin, hit add a package. Then what we want to do is navigate to our FPS pack that we installed. So desktop, lol increase pack, Wuxi, 
textures and inside of here you'll find the ulrt file .wxy. Inside of there press open and it'll say one skin has been successfully imported. Do you wish to install it? Yes. Once it's installed your screen will look like this and it'll give you the uninstall option as well and then simply what you can do then is you can just exit out of Wuxi and we're done with that step. Again I only recommend doing that if you want the best FPS possible as it will make your map look a lot worse in game. So if you guys who are running on a lot lower end systems you definitely want to do that part. If you guys are running higher end systems and you just want the best visual experience in terms of you want everything to look basic, you want the best FPS possible and you want all the champions to stand out a little bit more, then I also do recommend going down that path. I personally have a really good PC and I'm personally going to be running that as well. So again, that part there is optional. Next, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be booting our League of Legends client. So just simply boot up the client. Once you're inside of the client, make sure that you sign into your account. Then once the client is then booted, we're going to be navigating up to the settings cog in the top right. Press the settings cog, go into general, and then what we're going to be doing is enabling low spec mode and close client during game. You can then set your windowed mode inside of here. Probably recommend doing that to the lowest possible at 1024 by 568. And then press the done key. Once you're then done inside of there, we're going to be exiting out of our game because we're going to be booting back into it later on. Moving on from that, we're going to be doing some Windows specific optimizations to improve our frame rate, not only just in League of Legends, but nearly every game on your PC. So to do this, what we're going to be starting off by doing is going down into the bottom left and typing in percent, app data, percent, and pressing enter. Going into the app data folder found at the top here, going into local, scrolling all the way down until we see a folder called temp, or temp, Inside of there, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be highlighting every folder and file inside of this folder, highlighting them all, right-clicking and pressing delete, and pressing yes to that. It's going to tell you that the action cannot be completed by all folders and files. Inside of here, just hit the do this for all current items and skip. I might ask you that again, hit skip again. Inside of here, these are the only files that were actually being used by your system. Everything else inside of here are just temporary files creating excess space on your PC, which are just soaking up your resources, soaking up your hard drive space, and slowing down your system for no reason whatsoever. You could have files that are multiple years old inside of here that have been dumped as cache files from older programs that could have been sat here for multiple months if not years. So basically we've just gone ahead and removed all of that. Another great thing I like to do is go into the bottom left again, type in run, press enter. Inside of here we're going to be typing in prefetch and pressing enter again. And this folder, we're gonna be doing the exact same thing which we did with our temp folder, highlighting everything inside of here. Now I've only got one file in here. As I did clear this folder out around about 24 hours ago, you're more than likely gonna find folders and files in here upon folders and files. So just highlight them all, just like you did with the temp folder, right click, delete and if it tells you the action cannot be completed do the skip thing we just did once you're done with that what we can then do is just exit out of there next we're going to be going into our windows power options to unpark our cpu to do this go into the bottom left and type in power then we're going to be clicking on any of the battery with the cord around it icons doesn't matter which power options option at the top inside of here we're going to be selecting one of our power plans hit show additional plans and look for the high performance plan once you've got it, select the high performance plan, go to change plan settings. You can set either of these options to whichever you wish to do so. I both have them set to never. Go into the change advanced power settings found here. And on this left hand side, we're going to be going into our hard disk option. Inside of here, go into hard disk off after setting, set this to zero. It more than likely be set to 20 by default and press apply. Scroll all the way down to you see processor power management. Then what you want to do is go into minimum processor state and maximum processor state. And then what you want to make sure that both of these are set to 100% on the minimum, and on the maximum, just set them both to 100% if they're not. Once you're done with that, press apply, press OK. If it asks you to save changes, do so, and then we can just exit out of our power options. Moving on from that, we can disable some excess Windows services which will further boost our FPS. Go into the bottom left and type in services, press enter. You'll be given a tab that looks just like this. Scroll down until you see the S section, and we're looking for a process called Superfetch. Inside of here, once you've found it, right click on it, go to properties. Then what we're gonna do is startup type disabled and service status, if it's running, press the stop button, wait a couple of seconds until it's stopped, press apply, press OK. We can then exit out of our services and we can then move on to Windows gaming options. Now for you Windows 10 users, we can then move on to Windows gaming options and optimizing those. If you're not running Windows 10, that's absolutely fine. This part only takes a couple of seconds, so keep watching. Go into the bottom left, click on your settings cog found here, then inside of it, go into the gaming tab, go to game bar, turn all of this off by flicking these switches to the off position, Go to Game DVR, also turn recording in background off, record audio off, and then go to Game Mode, and I personally like to turn Game Mode off. This is experimental, some people have reported better FPS with it on, some people have reported worse FPS with it on, so I personally like to turn it off. Again, you guys can experiment with this if you wish to do so, but just to stay safe, I like to turn it off. Once you guys are done with that, we can then exit out. Next, we're going to be moving on to MS Config. Go into the bottom left, type in MS Config, press Enter, then go into the Boot section found here, 
click on your operating system and hit advanced options. Select number of processors and we want to go to the highest option available inside of here. You might have more than me, you might have less than me, I personally have six. You could have anything from two all the way up to 32. So whatever the highest number is inside of here, make sure that you use your scroll wheel as well in case it has a drop down and select the highest number available in there. Once you guys have got that selected, press OK, press apply and press OK. It'll ask you to do a system restart. We're not going to be doing that yet. We're going to be restarting our system after we're done with all of our optimizations. So X it without restart. Next we're going to be going in and optimizing our windows itself. Go into the bottom left and type in this PC, right click on this PC and go to properties. Then what we're interested in is going on the left hand side and doing advanced system settings. Inside of here, go to the advanced tab, go to performance and hit settings. Under visual effects, we're going to be setting this to custom and we're going to be unchecking every option inside of here just by clicking on it and make sure the tick is off. Besides show thumbnails instead of icons, we'll have that selected and smooth edges of screen fonts. Now the smooth edges of screen fonts can also be turned off if you want the best FPS possible, but I personally like to keep that on. But if you guys don't mind how it looks, then you can also uncheck that as well. Once you guys have got that set, press the apply button. At the top here, go to advanced, process of scheduling, set that for programs press apply, go to data execution prevention, and also turn that on for essential Windows programs and services only, the option here at the top rather than all. Have that selected, press apply, okay, okay, and then we can exit out. Going back inside of the FPS increase pack now, you'll find that there is a CC setup. What we're gonna be doing is booting into this and installing CCleaner. Press install and press run cleaner. Inside of here, this is a fantastic utility program to remove excess dump files from your PC and just overall increase your PC maintenance. So inside of it, go to the cleaner option and hit analyze. Once the analysis is complete, it's going to tell you how many files can be removed. I can remove 1.15 gigabytes just with this. Bear in mind, I ran this around about two days ago, so I can already remove 1.1 gigabytes of excess temporary files. So what we're going to be doing is hitting the run cleaner option found here in the bottom right and pressing OK. It might ask you to close some programs. That's absolutely fine. Just press yes. And it'll say cleaning is complete and it'll tell you the amount of megabytes that have been removed. You might have more, you might have less. It doesn't matter. But however much is removed, that's fantastic. What I then like to do is press the analysis button again until you're given analysis complete. If more files show up, hit the run cleaner and keep going back and forth until you're given analysis complete. Zero bytes to be removed. I then like to go onto the left hand side and go into the registry tool and hit scan for issues. Again, it's going to show you errors here. You might have more, you might have less. That's absolutely fine. What we're interested in doing after it's scanned is complete. Go to fix selected issues. Do you want to change backups to the registry? No. Fix all selected issues close and I like to just scan again to ensure that there are no more issues you more than likely will find that it shows up some more here for you so hit fix selected issues go through that again and keep scanning until you're given no issues were found this is a fantastic program I definitely recommend using this either on the first or the last day of each month to ensure that your PC is kept well maintained and you haven't got any excess files on side of your PC so again use this either on the first day or the last day of every month what we can then do is just exit out of CCleaner. Now, another quick thing to note inside of CCleaner, you can find out what GPU you have by looking here at the top. I personally have an NVIDIA GeForce GTX 970. If you guys have an AMD based GPU or you have a Windows based GPU, it will also be stated up here at the top. Now, if you guys are running an NVIDIA or a Radeon AMD card, what I then recommend you guys go ahead and do is go into the description down below and click on the corresponding website for whichever GPU driver you have. So if you have an NVIDIA, go to the NVIDIA site. If you have an AMD Radeon card, go to the AMD Radeon site. This is going to allow you to update your GPU drivers. Now, a new GPU driver comes out relatively around about two new GPU drivers a month. Now, if you haven't manually updated these, these do not update themselves. So I definitely recommend going ahead, looking into this and downloading your latest driver because this can also fix a lot of issues you might be having. So if you AMD users, scroll down to the automatically detect and install your GPU driver and hit download now. Open the program, it will go for everything for you, it will auto detect everything for you and install the driver necessary. If you NVIDIA users, go onto the GeForce website, select the automatic driver updates and hit download, then follow the on-screen prompt and it will pretty much run you through everything and update your GPU driver for you. Now moving on from there, another fantastic tool you guys can go ahead and download in the description below is Advanced System Care 10 Free. This is a fantastic program to ensure that your PC is staying well maintained, that you have the latest drivers and any Windows issues are being resolved by it on a regular basis. This will improve performance, it also has a built-in performance booster inside of it to make sure that it frees up RAM and it's a very, very, very good overall utility program and I definitely recommend downloading it as it's free. Now once you guys have gone ahead and downloaded and installed it, boot up into the program and you'll find this page here which is the Clean and Optimize tab and it will give you an option to scan. I like to select all options available down at the bottom and then hit the scan button. 
Please bear in mind that this can take a little while depending on whether or not you've scanned your system before. It also depends on hard drive speed, SSD speed, and how many junk files that you do have, but it's going to go through everything and tell you how many errors it can fix for you in each and every department. And once the program is done scanning, it's going to give you an overall rating for your security, performance, and stability. It's then going to tell you how many items have been found that the program can fix for you. And again, I do recommend using this program around about once a month. Once you're done inside of this screen, all you need to do there is just press the fix button at the bottom and it will go through and fix everything that it has found for you. And once the fixing is complete, it will tell you everything that it's got ahead and fix for you in which department, and then you can simply just press the finish button. Again, I do recommend using this program around about once a month, either on the first or the last day of each month, just to ensure that you have the best performance for the month coming up. Now moving on from that step, I do now recommend restarting your PC to ensure that all of your changes have been saved correctly and everything is running properly. Once you've restarted your PC, come back onto the desktop and it's time to boot the game. Now to do this, what you need to do is you need to get the timeresolution.exe out of the FPS pack provided, put it onto your desktop and then run it as an administrator. This program basically means that Windows code is sped up, meaning that your operating system and your game can talk to each other at a much sped up rate to ensure that your hardware is getting the best results it possibly can, to lower your frame times, increase your frame rate and drop any latency issues that you might be having. So simply go over to time resolution, run it as administrator just to be safe, or you can open it normally. And once you're inside of the program, you're going to see that there is a maximize button in the bottom left. All you simply then need to do is press the maximize button and then minimize the program so it's running just in the tray down below. And then you can simply just boot into your game. Once you're then done playing your game, you can come back onto the program, press the default button to restore its changes, and then you can simply just exit out of the program. But assuming that we're about to play, we're going to open up the program and set it to maximize, and then we're going to minimize the program. Then we're going to be going into advanced system care once again, going up to the speed up tab, found here in the top left, and then pressing the Turbo Boost button to ensure the Turbo Boost is on. It's now released over half a gigabyte of RAM just by doing that. You might also find that the Deep Optimization tool is available and it might be able to apply one for you. If there are any optimizations that can be applied, press that button and ensure that they are applied. Then simply once you've done all of that, you can just boot into League of Legends. And then once you're inside of the game, what you guys need to go ahead and do is go into your Options menu, do that by pressing Escape, going into the Video Settings found here on the top left, and copying My Settings. Set the Character Quality to Low, Effects Quality very low, environment quality very low turn shadows off you can also set character quality lower than very low if you wish to do so but i want to set mine to medium character inking make sure that is unchecked uncap your frame rate and uncheck anti-aliasing and wait for v-sync and then press ok You'll then notice that your frame rate in the top right has been significantly boosted. You'll notice that you should have a pretty nice improvement depending on whether or not you've gone for the map fixes as well. Will also depend on how much your frame rate has been boosted. But if you guys can let me know in the description below how much of an improvement you've had, that would be absolutely fantastic to get a discussion going on. As always, please do use that comment section down below for any questions or any queries about anything to do with the FPS guide or if you just need help or a deeper understanding of what it is that we're doing. Please do feel free to let me know in the comments down below. Thank you very much for watching this video, guys. Please do like and share this video with anyone that you might find that might benefit from these increases from this video whether it be friends family or any of your teammates or anything like that please do share this video around with them as that is deeply appreciated please also feel free to suggest games down in the comment section if you wish to see any fps guides to improve your frame rate on any other games please do feel free to let me know in that comment section down below thank you very much for watching guys this has been panjano and i am out